Now, with us to discuss these and the other stories making the business headlines this morning is County Manager of uh, Cavan County Council, Jack Keyes. Uh, good morning, Jack. Good morning, Tom. Um, County Manager of Cavan County Council and an honorary Cavan man. Honorary, uh, unfortunately, in, in some ways, because Cavan is just such a, a wonderful county. Uh, during this month of May, I don't think I've ever been anywhere in, in Ireland or in the world that's so beautiful. Uh, I'm from Kildare originally. I'm working there for the last six years, and I must say it's a, a fantastic experience. Great people and great initiative. Well, I'm, I'm glad to hear you saying that. As a Cavan man myself, as, as, as somebody her, who hails from Shercock and the Kingscourt region of, of, of Cavan, I'd recommend anybody who hasn't been to Doonery Forest Park, the most beautiful place in the world. Now, now that we've finished the Cavan loving, Jack, um, you're here because Cavan County Council is, uh, well, apart from uh, being here to review the papers, you're here because Cavan County Council is part of the O2 Disability Awards. We're great supporters of the um, um, O2 Awards awards here on the on the show uh, but they're coming to a head today Today is the big day, Tom, yes. Uh, we, the awards uh, ceremony is held tonight in Kilmainham. We have uh, Mary Robinson along with Ryan Tuberty and Caroline Casey joining Minister Bat- Bat O'Keefe. Essentially, there are 38 organisations uh, who've uh, already been uh, awarded an achievement uh, standard and they come together for the final round of the awards. O2 do a great job every year. They really are fantastic in organising this and uh, there's about 50,000 people employed by the organisations who will be there tonight. So, and, and these... The Ability Awards are designed to promote, encourage and showcase uh, companies and organisations that that go the extra mile to improve access and accessibility, is it? That's it. Uh, for all people with, with any sort of disability, be it physical or mental, uh, there's a huge amount of work being done in Ireland, even by comparison to other European countries. We have an awful lot to be proud of and the O2 Awards, as you say, showcases it gives people a little pat on the back when they do go the extra yard and uh, basically promotes uh, further uh, ongoing improvements into the future. Now, why is Cavan Council um, up for mention here? We decided five years ago when we did our, our, our strategic planning that social inclusion uh, was to be a priority as well as many other areas, obviously. And uh, working with people with disabilities uh, was a, a, a very, very uh, strong motiv- mo- uh, motivation for ourselves. We have about 70 or 80 initiatives. The interesting thing about Cavan County Council is because the uh, the idea has been embraced by staff throughout the organisation, that we found, find initiatives coming through at all levels. So hence we have a lot of exciting things happening and a lot of very positive uh, progress. Of course, a huge amount of work to be still done. Right. Um, now, coming back to Cavan, okay, and it doesn't take much to bring me back to Cavan, Jack, I have to tell you. The, um, there's, uh, uh, Quinn is making the headlines in the papers this morning. We won't, we, uh, I'll, I'll come back to you on, on, on that story. But in terms of uh, business and Cavan generally, you're unfortunately looking at a situation where there's up to 800 people are going to be um, told that they no longer have jobs um, up in Cavan. A big blow for Cavan. Cavan is a great place to do business because the people have a huge, hugely strong and entrepreneurial streak and they're very, very hardworking and very, very diligent. The, the county now will be just about an hour from Dublin with the opening of the M3, which we hope will happen next month. Uh, there's a lot of very, very good infrastructure there. So really, it's a county that has a lot going for it. But the way things have happened over the last few years is uh, because of the presence of Quinn and one or two other large players, perhaps the amount of inward investment uh, that we might have expected otherwise has not happened. Wait, wait a second, let me stop you on that. Th- th- that's one good reason for for not getting inward investment and honestly I can't remember the last time I heard of um, um, a big inward investment project going into Cavan, genuinely. But surely there are other uh, infrastructural reasons like the quality of the the electricity network in Cavan n- lagging behind most other counties in the country, surely? Uh, there, there still is a small gap in certain areas, but the gap has has narrowed to a degree that is so insignificant. For example, in Caventown, where Quinn's uh, headquarters is, we have unlimited capacity broadband capacity connectivity to the outside world. So there, there are very, very few real physical impediments uh, in Cavan. I think it's more perhaps uh, it's the job, the onus on us, is to sell the county a little bit better to people who might want to invest. Well, I, I'm delighted to hear it, and I'm delighted to hear that you'll be selling selling the county. Um, Jack uh, Keyes, County Manager of Cavan County, Cavan County Council, stay with us for the review of the papers. But now we're joined by James Hughes of CMC. Good morning, James. Good morning.